Thank you, sir. All right, here it is. Let's see what it is. Okay, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little nervous, but here it is, guys. This is the final cinematic Sanctum of Domination raid finale. Here we go. I knew it. I knew it. I will never serve. That's good. That is some good stuff. Oh, man. I knew it. I knew it. I said, okay, so I, I was a little, I, so what I said was that Alu, I thought maybe Alun was going to come and restore her soul. Not that, not that he would do it. Um, I, I know, I know for a fact that there's somebody like right now being like, you know, they're so mad that they, that they didn't kill her. Of course they didn't kill her. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that she has her soul back. And like, what does that, what does that mean? What does it mean for everything that's happened before this? What does it mean for like Uther's plot line that's happening now? What does it mean for Anduin? Anduin's the only one that goes with him into that, that breach. And he said, um, the end line that the jailer said there was. Hang on. let him reach the sepulcher that's what he's been trying to do cons like this entire time also can we talk about can we just talk about this part right here like oh. 
Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Come on, that is awesome. That is so good. Oh my God. That was so good. I can't wait to see, because obviously I'm seeing it out of context of like the raid and everything, but like, I, I love that. I think it's awesome. Obviously, if you saw, there was a point where, so he pulls this, this, the last sigil out of the Arbiter, which like we kind of, we kind of expected the hole in his chest was always going to be what the Arbiter had. But then there's a, a point here where Bolvar Thrall, I mean, we lose, we straight up lose this fight. Um, Bolvar Thrall and them trying to see if there's a point right here they all have that like glowy in their eyes and they're like being controlled and they can't do anything um and they're just like watching this all happen no bane though bane got dude bane got the short end of the stick <laughs> he's like there he's not even there um but man also i like I just, I wonder why she specifically looks at Anduin for that part, right? Looks like the Arbiter was created from Zoval's seal. Right, right. The Ar that's And that's what a lot of people were suspecting was that Zoval used to be the Arbiter and then they made the Arbiter using his power to, to that he was, he was flawed and he was, he was against, he was working against, and that's probably what's happening is that he was working, a, like, you know, he was supposed to be who dictated this and then he became corrupt by it. Um, because you know corruption um it, it felt like death probably had a higher a higher thing and he wanted to go against what and he didn't like his makers and blah 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 so he wanted to go against it so they built the arbiter and that's what he needed to get his power back um i'm very curious about like i'm so like what happens after that and when she looks up Rich. she's got she's got those beautiful blue eyes man that was so good oh man I know people are going to be mad about it, but I thought that was just, I thought that was so good. Oh, man.